guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to show you how to make a pop-up gui when you step on the block so first up what you want to do is we actually need our uh, gui and we're going to name it pop-up gui now that's done uh we actually want to add a frame we got our frame right here, just center it out, yada yada yada. And we also need a text label. Make it say something like, uh, uh you've got this pop up. And we're also gonna need a text button so you can actually exit out of the pop up GUI. So we're gonna add an X to it. All right, now that we have that, we're actually gonna add the script to the text button. So script. Now I have all the scripts on a notepad, but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna explain it, but just copy and paste the scripts so it's easier for me. Now basically what this means is the parent of the script, which is text button, which is the exit button, um, when it gets clicked by left click called mouse button one, it will connect to that click as a function. And then we, uh, then the script parent, which is the text button, then the parent of the text button, <coughs> and then the parent of the frame which is pop-up GUI will get disabled, which we need to actually disable it first. So turn off enabled. So that will happen. Okay, next what we actually wanna do is we wanna go replicated storage and add a remote event. And we're gonna name this, oh, uh, whoops. We're gonna name this pop-up. Now we need our actual button that you will step on. And we're gonna name this pop up activate. Now we want to add a script into it. And let me just copy and paste the script once again. And I'll just explain what it does. So the script's parent, which is the pop up activate, if it get if it gets touched, it will actually connect with whatever touches it and the function named hit so you can now say hit dot parent as in if someone touched it so if hit dot parent which means if someone touches the parent of the script then uh, it will find if the uh, object that hit it has a humanoid if it does then it will go into replicated storage and fire our event called pop-up and it will fire the client then we have this which means so basically this will get the player from the character that touched the pop-up activate as in hit dot parent so now that that's done we actually want to add oh yeah also anchor this so it doesn't fall apart. Now we want to add a local script into the pop-up GUI. And let me just copy and paste it. Now, what this script does is it'll hold on. Script analysis. Uh there. What this script will do is it will uh see if the pop-up event in our replicated storage will get fired and on the fired event it will connect with it as function now we have game.players.local player meaning the player uh remember in the this script get player from character oh well get player from character so now that knows what the player is from the character 
you can call that player local player. So game dot players dot local player dot player GUI. And player GUI is actually a thing inside of a player. Uh, for example, I can just go to play and you'll, you'll see. So if you go into my character's player, you can go into, there's something called player GUI. And it has all the GUIs that's in their GUI. Basically what happens is when the player joins the server, um, the starter GUI will clone whatever's in it into a player GUI. So now we have a pop-up GUI. Now that we have that, there's a screaming kid out my window and it's pretty annoying. Anyways, uh, now that I explained that, um, pop-up GUI gets enabled. So, let's close out these and test it. Will it work? Yep, it worked. And we can also, uh, whoops. Hold on, let me see why this isn't working. Yeah, so when this gets clicked, script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot enabled equals false. Um let me try making it so instead of it's already enabled but you can't see the frame over here so uh let me make this invisible uh there the script dot parent dot parent dot visible equals false and now we have to do that with this local script i think um dot frame dot invisible equals true there now let's try it so the same thing will happen uh it's still not working uh not so sure why i mean it should disappear I don't know if it's really disabling or not. Uh, well, anyways, uh, instead of having, okay, hold on, hold on, uh, I'll go check. Okay, guys, I actually decided to spice things up a bit, so I made it so. Uh, here, I'll show you first. So, we go here, you can step on this, and it just flings out of existence. Uh, for some reason, this isn't working. Game.players.player.localplayer, dot 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 player. yeah. Uh, I don't understand why it's not working, but who cares? Let's just change this to script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot enable it's false. There. Anyways, guys, so uh, I guess that's the video for today to make a pop up GUI. It basically makes it so you can't get it again ever. Once you get it, you can't get it again as well, so. I'll see y'all next time. Uh, enjoy this script. Sorry I messed up a bit. Goodbye. Uh, yeah. Bye.